today's the first actual like freezing cold day. Like I couldn't feel the tip of my nose walking to my car after work. We are doing our first ever subscriber requested Vlogtober video. So here's the comment right here. Guys, if you ask for a specific video, I will do it. I love your ideas, especially this one. Like the second I saw this comment, I was like, this needs to happen as soon as humanly possible. I do not have a library card yet since moving. So I'm here at my local library. And can I just tell you, I am freaking out. It is huge. I don't think I've ever lived anywhere that had a two-story local library. So I am absolutely pumped for this. Let's get a library card and hopefully they don't have like a super strict limit. I feel like with a library this big, they shouldn't have a strict limit, but we'll see. Okay guys, so I just got the library. First of all, officially I have a library card, yay. But the sad news is that the first time you get books from the library, you're only allowed to get two. So that really stunk because I was excited to just go all out. But it was nice because it kind of forced me to really think about the books I was picking. I went through a lot of books. I pretty much walked through all of the shelves until my little dust sensitivity was just like, it hurts to breathe, we should go. So the first one, which I've actually talked about about recently is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. I read these when I was so young and I just remember being obsessed with these books. It's about a boarding school for witches in Victorian England. Or wait... So I, I think it's something along those lines. That's the thing. I don't remember that much. I just remember being obsessed with it. So I have been dying to reread these books. This part is where I was really conflicted. I knew I wanted to read something new and something very Halloween, something very autumnal. And I found this book quite literally at the checkout. And I'll tell you what book I put down in a sec. But this book is called Catherine House. I've never heard of this book before. I just saw the cover and I was like, okay, that's kind of cute. And they had it at this desk for like recommended fall reads and I was like I gotta at least check it out. So Catherine House is a super private college like in the middle of nowhere in Pennsylvania and it's super hard to get into and this girl gets into Catherine House but you have to make a sacrifice before you go to the school and that is that you are completely cut off from the outside world for three years and you only live in the Catherine House. You don't leave the Catherine House. But the reason why the school is so worth it to her is because all of the best minds, all of the best inventors, the best artists, scientists, like you name it, have come from the Catherine House. So she gets in the Catherine House and she's ready to commit like three years to basically putting away the outside world. But very quickly realizes that there is something very sinister going on and there's more sacrifice than they tell you. And I don't know, it was very vague, but for some reason that intrigued me even more. And then the book that I had in my hands right up until I saw the Catherine House was Six of Crows. I think it's wild that I still haven't read that. I feel like everyone and their mother has read Six of Crows who cares about like the bookish community. Every single time I go to pick it up, for example, today, something has me changing my mind. Here's the real kicker. For those who don't know, Libby is an app that's connected to libraries and your library may not have like a book you want in the actual library, but on Libby, you can get free unlimited ebooks and audiobooks. So I have a Libby and I'm gonna log in with my new card. My North Carolina library card that I had, the Libby was lacking. So here is the ultimate test. I am going to go through my Goodreads and look up every single book on my to be read in book market. And then I see what percentage of my Goodreads TBR is in their Libby. So I'm gonna do that right now and I'll get back to you. This might be one of the best Libby accounts I have ever had. So I took all of the books on my want to read TBR list on Goodreads, which right now is 78 books. And I do stick to Goodreads really close. So that's really accurate. Those are the 78 books I want to read. Now, 11 of those books haven't come out yet. So obviously they're not going to be there. So I subtracted those. So we are working with 67 books. I searched up 67 books on this Libby and I got... 
41 of them. Over half of the books are on this Libby. That is beyond exciting to me. I wouldn't say I'm in a book slump because I'm still reading, but I definitely haven't had the desire to read at the level I usually do. An exciting new book I've never heard about before. An old favorite, and I want to like re-fall in love with this book. And then 61% of my TBR list is on Libby. My booktube self is about to come out again. We might be getting some more bookish content because I am so unbelievably pumped right now. Thank you for coming with me to the library and getting my library card and for having my little library haul. Hopefully Hopefully in the future I'll be able to get more books. She said I could get up to 40 books after my first return. I don't think I'll ever be getting 40 books from the library, but all I'm saying is prepare for Book Ruby to be back. And if you are not familiar with reading Ruby and you're very curious about reading Ruby, I'm going to drop a whole playlist of all of my lovely reading videos. I hope you enjoy. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Vlogtober.